Live. I try to go live before, but as I said before, and nobody could hear me, I was in probably the worst place to be to go live. Why is this still on? Uh huh. Okay, let me see if this makes a fucking difference. Yeah, it does. All right. It's a bitch. Uh, I was supposed to meet somebody somewhere, and of course, they fucking cancel, which is fine, but don't have my ass come all the way out here for absolutely nothing, but I did get some delicious, delicious beverage, so let me enjoy that. I know I've mentioned this before, but fuck it, like I always say, it's better that I'm actually talking to something than just looking like a crazy person talking on my own. I don't know what's wrong with the people that work at this fucking shopping mart. I, I, I don't know what kind of clearance you need to look at somebody's ID and say that they're over 21 or not, but it's a process. And every time somebody buys beer in front of me, ever since they eliminated the self checkout line, I have to sit there and want to cry because I know it's going to take five hours because somebody inexplicably will have to go, yeah, it's a 21. 21, I can't do this. I don't know how to read or write or do anything worthwhile. Can somebody else do it who's authorized? They actually have people who are authorized to look at a 21 or over ID. If you can't do basic math and see if somebody's over 21 or not, then get the fuck out of the store. What, motherfucker? Uh, he's having a hard time with the cart rack. We all do. Oh my God. Never fails to get the worst fucking rack cart too. The rickety one that always moves. And let's everybody know, everybody and their mom know that you're coming. Not bad. I'm so tired. <laughs> anyway, I was saying before, I was trying to think of what video I wanted to do next. Like, ripping on a reactor. Um, I think I'll continue that series. I mean, after all, it's fun to do. They are useless. I have to admit now, watching more of them to see which one I'm going to rip on next. One is dumber than the next. I like when they don't even try to make a reaction. I like when they just sit there and watch whatever's on the screen and literally just do this number. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah. So, you guys, shout me in next time and see what you want me to watch. I would, they even have to solicit what they should watch. I can't believe anybody ever writes to them anything, but it's just me. What is this? That's a handy little stand. I like this. It's my steering wheel, but it'll work. <clears throat> oh. It is finally cool out in Chicago. It's been... And there we go again, going off and on. I'm in the wide open right now. I don't know what's wrong with YouTube's live thing. By the way, can somebody explain to me when you ever see this, what the hell a super chat is. Apparently, I'm not eligible for that yet. You have to have a thousand subscribers, which means it'll be another 10 years before I ever get it. But I saw this thing like listed, like things that I'm allowed to do on YouTube now. Like I can go live. It's like, all right. It's like, you can look at YouTube. Cool. You can do this, that, or the other thing. And there's this one part on my main YouTube page, which is like a uh, super chat, not eligible. And I'm just sitting there trying to figure out what the hell a super chat is. Like, is it just super? Is it just fun? Is it just like, you know, a really fast chat? I'm thinking that's the one you can solicit donations for because I keep seeing that. And I was talking to somebody earlier today that they'll be like, you know, you'll go on a certain live feed and you'll see a dollar, two dollars next to this thing. I'm like, how are these people doing this and what are they using it for? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use it for right now. Starbucks, Starbucks, and Starbucks. I'm going to get a sponsorship if it kills me. I don't care. I give, I, I'm pretty sure I own a small Starbucks somewhere with the amount of money I spend there. It's ridiculous. And I'm not rich. 
I'm not. I mean, I survive, but I'm not rich. But I act like I am. That's my problem. I buy shit I should not be buying. I live, like, okay, it's really bad. Like, I can spend $10 a day at Starbucks. I know, I know. But fuck it, my defense for that is always this. I don't smoke anymore. I don't drink anymore ever since the incidents. Uh, I don't do any recreational drugs. I don't do anything. Like, I, I don't do anything. So, yeah, it's a vice. But it's kind of like the most harmless vice that you can have, I think. It's a pricey vice. I mean, it makes me, like, I can barely scrape money together sometimes for a Starbucks. I don't know how heroin addicts do it. I don't know how drug addicts get money every five seconds. I need to learn from them. Because my drug is Starbucks. So I need to go up to a junkie and be like, how do you manage to finagle $100 a day for your habit? What the fuck do you do aside stealing from your poor parents and then convincing them they have Alzheimer's? Like, I want to know what you do so I can get that shit. Because I want it. Push message. You've used 32 gigabytes of data this month. Okay, why do they insist on telling me that? When I have unlimited data. Fuck off. And I keep getting calls from the University of Texas who wants me to do a survey. I have never gone to the University of Texas. I've been to Texas once in my entire life. I don't know why the University of Texas is so desperate for my phone call. They called the other day and they were like, they wanted to ask some benign stuff like, so how do you think the crime is in Chicago? They actually asked that. And I was like, it's there. And they're like, I just want to see where they were going with it. And then they're like, well, um, do you think the media's portray the nationwide media's portrayal of the violence in Chicago is accurate? And I'm like, why are, why are you bothering me and my cell phone? What are you, go away. Leave me alone. So I hung up on the lady. I didn't say anything bad to her. I hung up. And then today... At the end of a run that I'm doing, it was a lengthy one. I was doing it outside for a change. They call me back. And the girl actually has the balls to say to me, we were in the middle of a survey the other day that you did not complete. And so now, would this be a good time to click the survey? And I'm like, I didn't say anything. I'm like, I didn't say anything bad. I mean, I said, listen, I'm like, take me off your list. Cause this is what I've been trained to do. Like, you know, anybody who's like grown up like a, you know, remember the early 2000s and stuff and telemarketers they started making that new law where you say take me off your list and they can't call you anymore for whatever reason so i thought that was the same rule applied to cell phones apparently not i'm like take me off your list she goes we can't take you off our list because we're not soliciting any donations and that's when i said bitch and hung up <laughs> right there is when i was just i lost my shit just like you're an asshole and just i, I think i said fuck off bitch and hung up what a smart ass you're already on the shitty end of the stick because you're a telemarketer Fuck, it, fuck off. Don't start getting sassy with me. Like, we're not soliciting donations. You're still being really annoying. <laughs> we're not soliciting donations. I didn't ask you if you're soliciting donations. I asked your ass to stop fucking calling me. Oh, my Lord. I really hate this store. <laughs> Like I've said before, I'm not showing it or anything or saying, I'm not even saying the name anymore, but it's like one I have to go to because it's close to where I work. And once again, I go in there and there's not that many people in the store and I'm like, all right, this is going to be easy tonight. Nope. No, it's not. Why would it be? It's going to be two lines that are open and the five or six people that are waiting, they're just going to make us wait forever because, you know, again, somebody is getting beer in front of me and they don't know how to do that. Is he 12 or is he 80? Who knows? I don't know. That's weird. Somebody gave me a thumbs up, but there's nobody here. And that's the thing. I don't care if anybody's here or not. <laughs> Google it! What's up, Teresa? Can anybody else see these comments? Because I might sound schizophrenic just yelling out Google it. In joke between me and good friend Teresa. Teresa's a fan. She uh, Her favorite color is pink. And she has a small dog named Yipples. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> she, you're the one from um, Alabama? They throw me. I know. Here you go again, saying that schizophrenic crap. She comes up with weird random facts. Like, she should have her own channel. 
Like, no, in the summer times, nuns defecate in the woods to bless it. It's true. I read it somewhere. Google it. It's on the internet. It's true. Google it. And then she reiterates it like every time I see her, like, no, it is true. It is. It's, they throw meat. The, the nuns piss in the woods. And I'm sitting there like, what is she talking about? Oh, yeah, the thing last time. It's like context, Teresa. We need context. <laughs> Because otherwise you just sound... Dinner party with her has got to be fun. <laughs> Albino swings, sings Swedish folk songs. Didn't I... T last time, Google it. Remember? Didn't anybody... Why are you all looking at me like that? Am I not allowed at Thanksgiving anymore? <laughs> They're like, listen, just don't pay attention to her. She's special. <laughs> Yeah, I like to do something. I'd like to have a big, like a Thanksgiving either. I swear to God, I'd do that. But enough like followers and shit. Thanksgiving dinner with all the people that subbed to me. I would do it. I, I swear to God, I would invite Therese. I'd, I know if I ever got big enough, I'd have to fly them all in somewhere. But shit, I'd do it. I'd have her, because I would love to see the fucking commentary going on. And there it goes the zoom in and out again. But Teresa would be throwing out weird random facts. Do you know if you bathe the baby in Clorox, it blesses them? I read that somewhere. Google it. Google it. I Remember? You guys? Right? <laughs> if you stick your finger up your butt and smell it, it actually enhances your sense of smell. Google it. Google it. It's true. I read it on the computer thing. I did. It's true. Don't you look at me like that. And I did not fart. Who was that? That was just raw. Oh, it was Jay. That's, that's fine. Uh... <laughs> Oh, man. That would actually be kind of cool. Like, you get, like... I don't know if you could get all your subs together. Although, I'd, that'd be a pretty cool video to have. Live stream, like, a Thanksgiving or Christmas party with all your subs and you. Just acting the complete ass. And Lord knows I love to act the ass. So why not? I've been told by people, you're immature. You're immature. I just don't like what you're doing. You're immature family members. You're immature. I mean, some of the stuff that you say and do sometimes, it's just, it's not good. It's, it's, you know, it's a little beneath you. No, it's not. I'm, I'm beneath me. I'm down there. Okay. I, I always sink to the lowest level possible. It's just who I am. And I wish I could fight that. I, I do. <laughs> I'm a horrible human being, but I, you know, I own it. So at least can I get some credit? You know, I mean, I swear to God, people on YouTube are buying views. I said this last time. I'm just getting annoyed because I'm looking at more and more lame channels that have, like, nothing. It's like, you know, hi, I like to knit. Watch me knit. And some blind bitch trying to knit or something like that. All of a sudden, 50,000 subscribers. Bullshit. Bullshit. She's buying subscribers. And I know you can do that. I know that's a thing people can do. I won't do that because I think that's just weird. And what a waste of money. It could go to Starbucks, like I said. <laughs> I fucking, I need to learn from junkies how to get that much money a day. They can, they, you know what? Junkies should teach an accounting class. They really should because they can get, they're the only group of people I know and get $500 in a day if, like that. I don't know what the purpose of buying, well, what I think it is and what I've heard from other YouTubers is that it's just to make it look like you have more subs. So somehow you fool other people into subbing, subscribing to your channel. Because it's like, well, hey, he's really cool. He's got 200 bajillion subscribers and it's, you know, but they're going to find you out. I mean, if you're not remotely entertained, and again, I, not that I think I am, like, I think I'm, honestly, if nobody was here, I'd still be doing this. I, really would. I would. I just like to talk. And I like to talk shit. I would be doing it. But they're going to find you out. You know what I mean? If you're a sucky YouTuber in whatever you do, I don't care if it's video gaming, which is, you just shoot yourself. But anything like that, they're going to look and they're going to watch you and be like, wait, how does this person have a bajillion subscribers when they suck this hard? It doesn't make sense. Something doesn't add up. And I've seen a few YouTubers like that where it's just like, because we all click on the thumbnails where it's like, I can't believe this person's even like really a channel. Like, uh, you know, you see something like, you know, today I washed my vagina and then I rewashed it. Want to watch? And it's like, yeah, sure. And, and they've got like a bajillion subscribers. It, it makes no sense. There was one guy, what was he doing? He was basically, I was going to go in on him, but he's not well-known enough and I wouldn't make him well-known enough. I'm not a fan of certain political parties, but if John McCain has brain cancer, I don't think you should be happy about it. 
And this motherfucker was basically saying since John McCain had some wayward politics or politics he didn't agree with. Ooh, a train. Amtrak. No. Is that an Amtrak or freight? That's one of the old ones you could hop on in the 70s. <laughs> and then the hobo would stab and kill you later on, but it was fun in a movie. Anyway, I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> I totally did. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. What was I saying? Where's fucking Teresa when you need her? <laughs> what the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> oh, the guy with John McCain. He's basically wishing John McCain, he's glad he had brain cancer. And I was looking at this guy, and first of all, he's doing it from a really shitty camera. And again, it's another, look, looks like an ISIS video. It's a white guy who's a hippie, and you've got to watch those guys. The white, angry guys that make the grainy videos are the ones that are going to fucking shoot up a building someday. They should flag them immediately. But the guy next to his subscriber count, he had, um... 50,000 subscribers and I'm like bullshit bullshit you are an incoherent fuck he, he I couldn't even listen to him because he's just meandering on he, he made no sense whatsoever he had no command of the English language at all <laughs> like at all I was just ah, you should have ah. he's one of those tinfoil hat you know it's Alex Jones fault that's what this is that cokehead allegedly Yeah, 50,000. Well, look at Alex Jones. Another maniac. Can we talk about him for five seconds? And again, I know he's got a lot of fans, and I don't think he buys his subs. I really think they're just tuning in to watch the cokehead. Like, I swear to God. Like, he's always right. The guy's the same age as me. The same, or maybe a year or two older than me. And he looks about 60. And he's always mad. He, he's got the real, like, cigarette, whiskey fucking voice. And he's always bright red. And he's just got... I'm just gonna say I've known people that were on coke and maybe he's just doing a really good impression of people who are on coke you get what I'm saying you, you see where I'm going with this yeah 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 he's a, definitely come on where else do you see lizard people and shit like that and if somebody was gonna find out about secret societies it wouldn't be that blowhard he couldn't fit into a secret society with his fat ass what the fuck is he talking about remember he said Newtown was a false flag yeah, those poor kids, they were all, they weren't real. They were child actors. Fuck him. That's because he got a bad batch of coke that day. That's what I think. Fucking sweaty, <laughs> narcotic addicted motherfucker. I want him tested. How's that? Besides fucking cake batter. Do I think Alex is real or fake? I think it's a mix. I think he's really crazy. I think he really has some kind of substance issue. But I think even if he's faking it, at this point, you're just responsible for creating a bunch of other lunatics. The Pizzagate thing. Somebody got shot and killed because somebody actually believed they were child trafficking under a Pizza Hut somewhere. What the fuck? Are, what? Uh, uh, listen, there is human trafficking going on. There's no doubt about it. Do you really think it's going to be under a fucking Pizza Hut? And crazy neighbor Bob from the fucking trailer home is the one that's going to figure it out and stop it all. But the, he actually went in there with a gun and shot somebody. Alex Jones had to apologize for that. Alex Jones should be in jail. To me, that's inciting somebody to do it. You know, yeah, Pizza Gate is crazy. Let me tell you something right now. There's ways where people can find... Chris Hansen has got it, okay? With the child trafficking and all that shit. He's on that shit. He's, he's getting the perverts left and right. There are groups that are working on it. Alex Jones needs to shut the fuck up is what Alex Jones needs to do. Alex Jones needs to... You know, apologize first off to all the parents that he offended in Newtown because they started to get harassed because they, he said they were actors. These, these people who lost kids, preschoolers, in a shooting were getting harassed by this fat cokehead's lame followers constantly and still are in some ways. If I were them, they should have a class action lawsuit against him and hit him where it hurts in his wallet. You know, because he likes to hit women where it hurts. That's what I heard with the divorce. And that was another thing in his divorce papers. He said something like, uh, Alex Jones plays a character. Uh, so which is it? You're just a, you're a crazy or you're a phony? It's one or the other, you fat fuck. I could never sit across with that. I'd punch him in his fat face. Seriously. Can you imagine going through that shit? And his big bloated ass. I want to see him. You know what? Do shock me. Run eight miles, motherfucker, without tripping over. <laughs> Passing out. Actually, go for eight blocks. Without fucking, you know, your eyes rolling in the back of your head and you're fucking throwing up 80 times. Asshole. 
Oh, and he's making money off it, which just irks me. You can be the shittiest human being on the planet and make money. Case in point. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I agree he went too far with Newtown. Like, I don't mind his crazy, like, there's lizard people. I mean, okay, lizard people. He saw that series in V in the 80s. Remember that series? Where they were a bunch of lizard people with really dynasty-like hair. And they would rip their faces off and they would eat mice and shit like that. He saw that. He made he made it up. He just he does he can't even make up his own shit up. He like stole that from a miniseries and he thinks it's real. He thinks it's real. He's insane. But yeah, don't you do that fucking even I wouldn't go that low and like make fun of something like that. You know what I mean? There's plenty to make fun of on YouTube. Well, yeah, yeah but certain kids you should smack. <laughs> leave kids alone. Listen, I wish kids would leave me alone. <laughs> Because they're everywhere. Even when I think they're not around, they, like today, on a path. It's a perfectly nice day. It's a, I happen to have this day off. And I'm like, all right, this forest path's going to be clear. It's going to be clear. Little junior fuckface is riding on his bike right in front of me. Ah, I'm learning how to ride a bike. I wanted to kick him. I to kick him. And I know that's wrong and bad. I get it. But I, I, they follow you everywhere. They're always around. Acting the ass. And usually at a movie theater. After hours when their parents should have brought them in the first place. Yeah, your ba your your fucking two year old wanted to see Saw. Not see Saw, like the playground, but see the movie. Like they bring them in the most horrible, horrifying movies and wonder why they're crying. My favorite is when they just let them wander around the theater. They're just, they're just getting exercise. Yeah, on my fucking dime, I paid for this. I paid to see this, not paid to watch your little bastard child walk around I'm trying to shake the crack out of his system that he was born with. Oh my lord. You can tell kids are getting bad. Well, people are getting bad. What about those fuckers that are making fun of that guy drown? You hear about that? On, uh, what's it, Instagram Live or Facebook Live? The guy was drowning and they decide to film it and start saying, hey, you're going to die. You're going to die. Ain't nobody going to help you. Should you die? You die. I, did they think anybody was going to be like, oh my God, when you made fun of that guy drowning, that was the coolest shit I ever saw. Can I like you? Can I be your friend? Can I subscribe to you? And again, it's a weird thing where it's like, legally, they didn't do anything wrong. Like, legally. But morally, I hope they get killed. <laughs> like, morally, I can't wait until, you know, like a Mack truck mangles their legs and actually takes their legs off. So it's just veins and blood spitting out. And they're like, please help me. And you're like, oh, sorry. <laughs> that must suck for you. By the way, let me get my phone out. Fuck them. Fuck them. Or the crazy bitch who videotaped her sister getting killed in the car. I just heard about that one. I just saw the video last night. She's driving. It's like, oh my God, I'm so drunk right now. And then the car like flips or something. And she's like, oh my God, my 14 year old sister is dead. I can't believe it. You guys, I know I'm going to be in such trouble. How are you still holding a phone, bitch? How are you still holding a phone up talking about it when your sister is dead? You stupid bitch. Nobody was home either. Because the judge was talking to her. She's like, he's like, do you understand these charges against you? Kind of. Killer, killer, killed that killer. She's useless. She's nobody's home. She's a psychopath. There's no use for her. See, that's why I am in favor of the death penalty in that case. I think it's used wrong. But if no one is home, they've admitted to doing the crime. They love doing the crime, or they're just the vacant-eyed motherfuckers. Kill them. Get rid of them. I don't. I don't care if it's inhumane. Like you know, they twitch a few times after they stick the IV needle in, and then they shit themselves. I don't care. Yeah, she was drunk. The bitch was drunk. She was driving drunk in the first place, so she could have killed other people. But, you know, it, it, you know, it has to be live. And the thing about that, Facebook Live should be held accountable. And here's why I say that. We all know that, it's, say, if I put up, like, a beheading on Facebook Live, like a fucking one of those terrorist videos or something like that, it'd be down like that, right? Or a picture on Instagram like that. Down like that, like within seconds. If a child pornography picture was put up there, be down like that. How are these videos allowed to stay up for hours and hours and hours and nobody knows? Bullshit. Then hire more people. You're a bajillion dollar company, right? Hire more people to watch these streams. Or better yet, cut it. Cut it. Then it's not your responsibility. Who the fuck? This is Facebook Live's fault. A lot of this shit. Well, I mean, it's the crazy people's fault, definitely. But uh, yeah, shit. A girl that kill, crashes into her house and killed two sisters. Was she filming too? Let me guess. 
Did she get a lot of views, I hope? Fucking... <laughs> These people are fucking deranged. I don't understand this. I mean, I was not always the greatest person, but, like, I don't think I would have ever held a cell phone out while somebody's being raped or stabbed or something like that. Like, oh, yeah, he's raping you good, huh? Yeah, now comes the knife. Ooh, that must hurt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to get all this. There's a part of you that's got to be not psychotic and say, I think I should call the cops now. I think I think I should stop streaming for a second. Some people should be banned from ever having a cell phone. Like that bitch, if she ever gets out of jail, because she probably will. Banner. If you ever, they ever see her with, I don't know how you do it, on her parole, be like, does this bitch have a cell phone? Find out if she got any cell phone records, if her sister's got a cell phone and gave it to her, or her mom, or something like that. Put her ass back in jail. That's dumb. Dumb. And don't text and drive. <laughs> We've all been guilty of it. But shit. I can't tell who's drunk anymore, who's old anymore in front of me driving, or who's just texting. If it's somebody young in front of me going weaving in and out, they're texting. I know I know they're texting. They're not high anymore. I used to be like, you know, back in the 80s, 90s, oh, they're high, they're drunk. Now, oh, they're texting, or they're liking a post, or they're, you know, taking a selfie of themselves driving their car. <laughs> My favorite is when they go to the movies, watch a movie, now they've paid for a ticket, but they go on their phone talking about the movie to their friends. You just wasted your fucking money. Why? Your friends are right next to you, by the way. Do you, can you not just, is it too hard to turn your head like this and say, hey, what do you think? Like, <laughs> do you have to like type it in? You know I'm getting old because I'm fucking millennials. They're the worst. I'm sorry. <laughs> they, for, from being generation snowflake, which, come on, that's got a sting right there. That your generation is called generation snowflake by pretty much everybody. Because after you need your phone and you have a meltdown, if you don't have it for five seconds, you know, then you need a safe space and everything else and gender fluidity and you can't be identified as a man or woman or that. Shut the fuck up. Just shut up. <laughs> they get their little panties in a bunch about everything. It's just like, ooh. And my generation started that. Gen X started that, like I said before. We started that with that new wave feminism and shit. That whole thing backfired on our ass. Everything backfired. That Gen X started backfired into the millennial crybabies. That's what they are. <laughs> Not all. Not all, but the majority of them are. That's so weird. That thing just disappeared. They told me. Oh, okay, it's fine. <sighs> I love millennials. When I can run them over. A woman missed her flight because she went back to get her phone. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I will say, I don't know. I mean, that can be read a number of different ways. It could be that the phone was important. Like, I don't know where she was going and for how long. So you got your phone. Maybe you got a kid with, like, fucking dialysis or something. I would get it. Like, needing to stay in contact. But I'm thinking it's a case, like, you're thinking, like, it's just the bitch needed, couldn't be without her phone for a second. I, I just had somebody, by the way. Pull for the third time on me. My boss. <laughs> Pull for the third time on me. I lost my cell phone. That's why I couldn't talk to anybody for like three weeks. Bull. Bullshit. Nobody loses their cell phone that long. And if you do lose your cell phone that long and you're in a different state or happen to be in a different state, there's things called prepaid. You know, you can get like a 15 buck phone. It's not going to be an iPhone, but it's going to be a phone that you can use to communicate with people. You don't have to keep it forever. Bullshit. <laughs> No kids. She needed Facebook. Oh, she needed Facebook. Then she really needs to invest in a vibrator. I mean, because, uh, you know, obviously she's not getting something else. Some, you know, getting enough of something somewhere else. So, uh, you know, uh, come on. Stop it with that. Look, I don't know. Like, I got this YouTube -y thing and I got Instagram. That's all I got. I don't know when I see these other YouTubers, they'll put their shit on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on this, contact me on this, and on this, and on this. They have like 20 different social media accounts. It's like, how do you function through a day? I I, I feel like I'm doing too much checking this and checking, you know, the Insta thing every now and then. I barely use it. I barely use it. I swear to God. 
like every like twice a week maybe I'll use the Instagram because I'll put up a picture like hey I catch shit look at it but <laughs> hey that old lady fell look <laughs> yes ten like at least that because you see some YouTubers will have like you know contact me here here here's my name for this here's my name for this I'm like how do you just do all this while you're taking a shit in the morning like is that how you pass the time like it's just like I could see it then maybe like checking on everything but then you know they're answering. That's why they're doing that crazy shit, walking in the fucking rivers and crap. Because they're looking at every fucking live life. Life is around you. Like there, there's shit to enjoy. I'm not saying don't ever use your phone. Have fun with it. I do too. I mean, I use a lot of this at night as my main. Like I don't have a TV anymore. I, I didn't feel the need to get one because I can watch pretty much anything on my fucking phone, and it's a decent sized screen. I had somebody tell me the other day. Well, you cast your your screen to your. Uh, your phone to your TV screen. Who gives a shit? Like, why? 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 I don't want to. <laughs> I'll just plug it in. Oh, it's easy. They can check all that because they have no other life. <laughs> I think a lot of them just have all their friends on these kinds of platforms. You know what I mean? Like, they're friends that, you know. Like, some people call friends that they've just met or they just know online as friends. They're not your fucking friends if you've never met the motherfuckers. I'm sorry. They are not your friend. You don't know that person. No, but I know his favorite color and that, you know, his favorite song is Dust in the Wind. <laughs> we know each other so... No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't. He could have fucking bodies in his basement. He could like to stick corn cobs up his own butt. You don't know him. You don't. Facebook. Facebook. They're my Facebook friends, so they're my real friend. No, they're not. No, no, they're not. Oh, Facebook's the worst. I don't have that. Everybody, and I do mean almost everybody I know has Facebook. I don't care about former classmates. Don't give a fuck about them. I don't care about anybody else, really, except me. Why, Why the fuck do I want to see a picture of their happy life? Fuck them. I don't care. <laughs> now, I'd be a kind of bastard where if I really had like, kind of mansion or something someday, then I would totally be on Facebook. Like, oh, yeah, just like, yeah, look at me in the west wing of my own house. <laughs> just enjoying the day. I'd be like a dick like that. So maybe that's what they do. But I, I don't care if mm, went out and had these scrambled eggs. They sure were scrambled. What do you want me to say to that? Good? What? When do you think you'll shit them out? I, <laughs> you didn't like that post. I don't like you. Why would I like your post? I've had so many people ask not so many, but a few people that I, I haven't thought of in decades ask about me through social, through Facebook to somebody else I know. I'm like, and it's happened to another friend of mine. Oh, oh, her. She, me and her are the only ones who are not in that cult yet. Who are not in the Facebook cult. Don't want it. We don't have it. We don't care. <laughs> That's it. We don't give a shit. Everybody else is. And some people use it to do the like lurking shit and see what, ooh, whatever happened to that fucking bitch that used to, the popular bitch in high school and see what she's doing now. Let's write a hateful comment towards her. I mean, they actually like want to go check on ex-boyfriends and shit, which, and these are people in the 30s and 40s. That's just sad when you're doing it at that age. I understand when you're 16, but some people meet and hood up on Facebook. I think you mean hook up. I don't know anybody who just sorry went away again. Yeah, they do. Hey, if you want to. I mean, I guess it's a way to meet people, right? If you want. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of confused about that. Can't be that safe. Especially if you're a woman. And I'm not saying women aren't tough or whatever. Can't fight. Yeah, they can. But let's be honest. I think men tend to victimize women sexually more than they do other men sexually. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. But, okay, when do you... You ever heard of a guy go, you know, I'm going on a date tonight. Hope this guy does not rape me. <laughs> or this woman, I hope I hope I make it out of her apartment. She doesn't keep me as a slave boy. Like, you don't hear that. Women I would be worried about more with, like, the Facebook thing. If you don't, I don't even care. It's because you see his picture, you don't know him. Well, now I know where he lives. You know, he's here. You don't know jack shit. Meet the guy a few times. Better yet, photo his house. Be like, this is where I am. If I'm not out in 10 minutes, call police. <laughs> We are supposed to be going out somewhere. If I don't make, we're gonna have small talk, I think. But if we do not make, if I'm not out of here in like ten minutes, fucking just nine one one, nine one one, nine one one, because he's killing me. <laughs> he is killing me, or he's tying me up to cook me for dinner later. I don't know, one or the other. 
I feel so bad I'm not telling some people about my live feeds, but like I said, I never know when I'm doing them. I really don't. I don't know when I'll have the time or if I'll have a good signal. But some people have been asking me, well, when is your next live feed? I don't, I don't know. When I can find a good signal and there's not a cloud in the sky that day. Because apparently this is not perfected yet. I mean, we can put like little land rovers on Mars that are discovering possibly new life, but we can't make YouTube live stay. <laughs> More than about five minutes without fucking up. We just can't do that. But everything else. Pick your battles, right? Facebook. Yeah, Facebook Live. And then everything else has to copy it. Then you get Instagram Live and Twitter have a live thing too. Again, another one I don't do. I don't don't do Twitter. Don't give a shit. Don't care. I don't care who tweeted what. Like, if it's really important, you can just go on Twitter, advanced search, and look for a tweet. Like, see, oh, what did Rosie O'Donnell say about Trump or something like that? <laughs> and look, and then you'll see it. I don't have to subscribe. I don't have to open up a Twitter. Fuck it. I don't want to. I think I'd be good on Twitter. But I just can't. I can't bring myself to opening another social media. I just can't. I can't. Plus, I know I can never shut the fuck up. So I know I'd start another fight with somebody and they would just keep being a, like, I'll fight with people on comments all day. I'll, I'll do it. I just, <laughs> I'll do it. And I know Twitter is good for that. So gotta, Jason's got to stay away from that one. Because I will be answering all hate comments all day like, yeah, yeah, and that's why you should die. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, you know what? Get a yeast infection. Your grand, great great grandmother was a prostitute. I know it. She sold it. <laughs> Just be sitting there, man. You got dig. Fighting with everybody. I do like it, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm sure that's some part of me that's really sick. <laughs> I do kind of like arguing with people. I do. I don't know why. And even if I'm wrong, I'll just, you know, start name calling. <laughs> why not? Fuck them. Start being absolutely horrendous for no apparent reason. Hey, I'm guilty of it too, fighting on social media. I've done it several times. And it's really weird when it's like an innocuous comment. If you hit my car with that bike, I will slap the dog shit out of you. Yeah, keep it going. Bike people worry me. <laughs> this guy's got a fucking... Like, 80 bags of groceries. He's riding like a 10 speed and he's not even looking because he's checking his phone. Groceries in one hand, phone in the other, wobbling like he's drunk. That's why I thought he was going to hit my car. I was like, hit my car. I hit you. <laughs> Repeatedly with a tire iron. No, but I've been guilty. What I was saying was, I'll post something I don't think is argumentative. Like I'll put like a, an Maybe it's an opinion someone disagrees with. But all of a sudden you'll have 80 people coming after you. Oh, don't even get me started on those fuckers. Not the neighborhood I live in now, but the, my old neighborhood became super yuppie. And with yuppies come yuppies on bikes. And they should have like a one day a year where it's like the purge, but with cars. We get to hunt them down and kill them because they deserve it. If There used to be a bridge I'd have to cross once in a while. And they would I would... The fucking thing that would drive me crazy is when they'd see all this traffic behind them and two of these assholes would have to ride like they're a car in front of you. Not like, you know, one goes behind the other. They just take up the space and they don't give a shit. And you give them the horn, they get pissed. You're the fuck up. You're the asshole. No, 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 no. Forget. Don't forget that I'm behind this several hundred or whatever thousand pound vehicle and you're on a little trikey. I will knock you over. <laughs> They've, I've seen them kick cars. $2,000 bikes. Good. Yeah. I love it when they fall. I do. When they're, you know, think about this. Drivers, you know, they're not all great either. Okay, fine. We have to pay, you know, like taxes. We have to pay city stickers. We have to pay, you know, if we pass a red light, we can't just go through it if nobody's around, right? We get we have to go to, you know, traffic court. Well, we have to share the road. Share, okay, fine. Share the road. Share the fucking responsibility then. Right? If you drive through a fucking red light, a cop should be able to pull your ass over too in your little trikey and you should get a trikey ticket. How's that? And then go to trikey court. 
you stand in line with a bunch of other motherfuckers for two hours to pay a fucking fine. What the fuck? They're able to breeze through that and they cause accidents. And they're the first to cry like little pussies when somebody knocks them over. Oh, he's screaming. They weren't looking where they were going. Maybe you weren't looking where you're going. Now, look, there are certain roads where it's acceptable, where there are big, wide roads. I live in Chicago. There's not a whole lot of big, fucking wide roads. There's two lane traffic, three lane traffic, 80 lane traffic, and you're the last ones to be on your trike taking your sweet time and dodging in and out of traffic, blowing lights. I mean, you're not going to get pulled over by a cop. You can drink and bike. You can. You could never get it. Now, well, you know, bike cannot kill anybody. No, but possibly if you're drunk and biking, you could go between two cars really super fast, cause them to hit each other and kill each other. I'd like to smack them. Swear to God. Your bike outfits. That's my favorite with their little blinky blinkies at night. It just says, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm a retard. I'm a retard. <laughs> look, look, look. I can't afford a bus. In the city, take a fucking bus. Take a train. If you're in rural someplace, the roads are probably wide enough and that's not going to be a problem. Ride your bike all you want. Have fun with your trekkie. Sorry. I swear to God. Where, ride a bus or ride a fucking train. I don't want to have to pay for it. On a bike with a dog. Oh, those are those are special kind of retards. Those are the people that seriously need... We need to hire people to throw rocks at them. Like, <laughs> they need to be publicly... We need to be public stoning just for them. Or the fuckers, and I love this, and again, I saw this today, I couldn't believe it. There's a big incline on this, like, trail I go on, like, when it's nice out to run. Huge dip. Here comes a guy flying down on his trike with one of those little things attached with a toddler in the back, like one of those little, like, carts or whatever with, like, a little flappy top. And there's a baby in the back, and he's flying down the thing, and the thing is kind of bouncing. And I saw the kid. What? <laughs> Am I missing something? Do you want him to be brain damaged? Maybe he wants to collect, you know, social security for him. <laughs> maybe, maybe he wants to check. Maybe that's it. Maybe the plan is to shake the fuck out of the baby till he, yeah, is he retarded enough yet? Can we get money for him? Great. Great. Can we, should we take him to a, like a ride again? Like, you know, fucking six flags and just not strap him in right. Maybe we'll shake him really stupid. No. All right. I think this tail will do it. Yes. The thing was shaking like this. Threat. The guy's on his trike. He's flying down. He was trying to go super fast. He wasn't even trying to slow it. You can slow down on a bike going down a super big incline. That baby could have... And sometimes we'll do a sharp turn with one of those things. That baby could fly at that fucking thing. He wouldn't even known. And then I could have sold it. <laughs> I would have brushed it off, get a nice bath and shit, and then sold it. <laughs> he was going really fast. Really fast. Now, not when he got to the bottom of the hill, but that doesn't make a difference. You're going down a fucking hill with a baby in the back. You know what? I'm not a genius, but no. <laughs> if I had, for some horrible reason, a child, no, I wouldn't do that. No. I would teach them to pickpocket. I mean, that's a valuable tool. <laughs> Listen, give daddy the money. You're a kid. They can't arrest you. <laughs> You're five. You didn't know what you were doing. You go for the purse. Go for the purse. <laughs> Teaching to find, you know, which green is the best, you know? <laughs> Look for, if it's a check, put it back. <laughs> Get daddy the cash. Because that's, that's, that's pretty smart if you think about it. Your six-year-old you know, gets caught stealing. But, oh, my God. I was, yeah, oh, kids. Ugh, I am so sorry, ma'am. Give it back to him. But meanwhile, good job. Sorry you got caught. You know that pony I bought you that I'm keeping in storage? If you don't get it again, I will fucking, I, if you don't, get me three wallets or cash this week and you keep picking up checks and stupid shit, I will kill that imaginary pony. <laughs> I convinced my kid. I would. I would tell him, like, I got you a pony. Oh, his name is Mr. Sparklefuck. I don't know, but you can have him, but you got to get me a certain amount of money by pickpocketing. And if he couldn't do it right or she couldn't do it right, back, now I have to go shoot your pony <laughs> at the pony village where I'm keeping it until you're a good kid. <laughs> Whose fault is that? <laughs> you're. <laughs> All you. That's why I couldn't have a kid. Oh, Santa's not coming this year. Why? He's dead. 
<laughs> Dad. Daddy killed him. <laughs> Listen. I didn't know he's coming down the fireplace. I lit it. Shit happens. I'm sorry. He's really fucked up. There's nothing we can do. No, I didn't get you shit. I didn't get you anything. I mean, it's supposed to be him, but he's toast. <laughs> but if you think about it, it's your fault because he was coming to get presents to you. So you actually murdered Santa. Hope you're happy about that. Good night. Love you. <laughs> Love you forever. Mwah. You little shit. Just walk in their room and they fuck with them. Oh, uh, can you, you know, pick, do your chores and, um, you know, get ready for school. By the way, I'm not your real father. I'll see you later. Just leave and don't, don't even address it ever again. <laughs> You're not my dad. I, well, I mean, yeah, I'm not, but who is my real daddy? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> put up, like, get up milk and put it up picture of your own kid on it and say missing <laughs> so when he goes to get the milk he's like what the fuck and drops it you didn't see anything uh, I don't, uh, well, that's weird i don't know how they got that's just just ignore it nothing happened i swear to god i never kidnapped you There's different ways to punish your kids. See, I would never abuse my kid, like physically. I would never beat them up or do anything horrible to them like that. It's called psychological abuse. <laughs> That's how you train them to do right. <laughs> if you didn't, see, if you don't get all A's this year and you're not a good kid in school, I will murder Santa. <laughs> I promise. I'll kill him. <laughs> and he, I'll make him suffer. You better do fucking, if you don't get on the honor roll, I swear to God, you better be on the honor roll. I don't care if you're sick. Stop crying. Stop crying. I swear to God. This is why mommy left. Because <laughs> you wouldn't stop crying. It had nothing to do with us fighting. <laughs> now I have to go get uh, go get a stepmommy for you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's fun. <laughs> I just don't like them. I told the story before. I was around a baby for... A few times, my brother's baby, and another baby, and that was enough. And I could leave, and there was no responsibility at my end. Oh, can they scream? And they can shit. I think the way they shit, it's ungodly the way they shit. It's just the evil coming out of them. It, it looks like fucking tapioca pudding. It smells like the devil's ass. It's just that's it. No, I can't. I can't be around this screeching gremlin. <laughs> I understand why people shake babies. I know it sounds horrible. I do. <laughs> why don't you shut the fuck up? What are you fucking crying about? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Like, you probably wouldn't mean it. See, that's why I would just have to hire somebody, like, just to take care of it. Like, this, it's crying again. Do something about it. <laughs> they should make, like, fun baby tape. Like, not nothing that would hurt the kid, like, easily to come off, but just baby tape. Like, you know, he can still breathe. You know? <laughs> like, eh, mm, mm. <laughs> Make it in fun colors, have teddy bears on it. It'd be fun. I'll market that shit. Why not? Called Shutteth the Fuck Up Nighttime. <laughs> it's abuse to give kids NyQuil to get them to sleep. Have you ever heard a kid? That's abuse? <laughs> I'm a little nappy. What's the problem? Especially if they're going to go on a plane. I don't want to be hated by everybody else on the plane because my little fucker's running around kicking seeds and shit. He's going to night-night. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, call the police. Go ahead. It's Kid Benadryl. He's not going to fucking pass out. Kids that never, ever leave when <laughs> he's 30. <laughs> oh, they can be useful. No, I mean, at least then you can make them work or something. Like, chop wood. Why well, you'd need them to chop wood, I don't know, but... Go outside and chop wood. I don't even know where the fuck they came from. <laughs> now, the worst would be have a girl that's still at home and has the babies. Like, I understand those parents. Yeah, I have to take care of my daughter and her kids. No, you don't. But how old is she? She's like 25, 24, and she's got four kids, and you have to take care of her. Why? No. Yeah, tell her, get the fuck out, whore. <laughs> I understand one kid, but when the girl's got five, six, seven kids, and you are taking care of her and her kids, tell the bitch to take care of herself. Get a job. Aside from getting screwed, get a job. 
We know what you can do really well, but it's not paying you, or is it? <laughs> Maybe you're making money doing something special. Maybe a few accidents happen, that's what's going on. I stay with my mom, and I have five kids. Your parents should kill you. <laughs> it's the parents' fault they let them keep staying there with all those kids. Fuck that. Oh, if that, again, another reason I could never be a dad. You come home pregnant, guess what? Adult time, I don't care if you're 15, 16, you're working, I ain't taking care of the fucker. <laughs> yeah, I can't kick you out till you're 18. I'll keep the little bastard here till then. Your ass is working. There's no summer. There's no hanging out with friends. Fuck that shit. Take care of your kid now. Better make real goddamn sure you want one. When you're 18, bye. <laughs> bye. There's the door. Bye. Take your baby. Go. Fuck it. You should have figured this out in the first place. I told you this is coming. I don't think I'd be any easier on a boy either. Uh, that bitch should be kicked then. I know someone who has three kids and her mother takes care of him. She sleeps all day. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> I get pissed out about other people's problems. That ain't my problem. But I'm thinking right now what I would do. I would shake her bed. I would just fart on her. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. Here comes another. <laughs> wake up. Get a job. Get a fucking job. Get these bastard children out of my house. Wake up. Take care of them. One of them pooped. The other one's putting the cat in the blender. Do something. Get up. Matter of fact, get the fuck out. <laughs> get out, all of you. I'm going to set this house on fire if you don't fucking leave. It's going to be a crematorium if you all stop, don't stop fucking with me. Jesus. <laughs> kids, taking care of their own kids, that's great. That's awesome. Parents are always so proud of their kids. Parents are all proud of their kids, but then they forget that there's high school, there's money, uh, clothing your kid will need, money. Uh, no more nights out for you. Maybe once a week or once a month you get a parents' night. Woo! More money. <laughs> Allowance, is that still a thing? I don't even know if kids do that anymore. Uh, and if it's college, oh, you're screwed. You're screwed. No. I want electronics. <laughs> Those are my babies. Those are my children. I'm going to have lots of children. I'm going to be like an adoption agency. <laughs> Does your new 4K HD TV need a home? Bring it to me. I'll take it in. Yeah, he's a little bit damaged, but I think he'll pull through. That new iPad. Hmm. Yeah. I'll take him in. I know I've got five, but fuck. I'm just a giver like that. Bring him to daddy. Back to school. Yeah, but it, mainly it's the clothes. They're expensive, but back to school. Again, been forever. I mean, we're going with Jesus. I'm so fucking old. Last time I was back to school, like, in fact, in high school, you kind of take care of yourself. So grammar school was like 89, 90 last time I was in school. Long time ago, but it was like, what, notebook? I remember the day at Trapper Keeper? It that the Trapper Keeper and um, some pencils or some shit. And, but it was always the clothes that killed you. Because you want to, you know, you want to look decent. You don't want to look at one of those fucking poor kids. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to look at come out of school in tattered rags and shit. Nobody wanted that. But yeah, high school, I don't remember like school supplies. Yeah, the trapper keeper. Binder, whatever you call it. Like I didn't, they just did a thing recently. They reacted, like kids reacted to trapper keeper. I'm starting to hate that react channel. It's like, ooh, what is this ancient thing called a trapper keeper? Shut the fuck up. See me in 15 years when you're fucking older and there's six year olds reacting to some shit with well, a first iPhone. What's that? Fuck off. But, yeah, they're like, they were sitting there saying, why did everybody want one? Not everybody wanted a trapper keeper. I didn't. Like, as long as I could stick notes in there and a pen, it was good. It didn't have to be a trapper keeper. Nobody was obsessed with them as far as where I was from. Nobody was like, did you get a trapper keeper? Well, then you're lame. No. Nobody cared about each other's notebooks. <laughs> Clothes they cared about. Music, maybe. Notebooks, it was never a popularity priority measure nothing not that i was popular <laughs> but shit who was really one kid never saw a phone book had no idea yeah i'm fine i can't blame him for that but it's like really when those kids are like 20 25 even 
and they're watching little children sitting there being really annoying. They went, what's this? What shit they used to have? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna find out. And some of those kids are just ignorant as fuck. I mean, yeah, when I was a teen in the nineties, mainly, like you could have asked me about certain shit from the fifties or sixties, and I probably would have known. I honestly would have. It's because now they're so fucking self-involved, they create their own playlists. They don't have to hear any other music. We had to. Because, you know, what was on the radio was on the radio. You know, uh, what you read in the newspaper was in the newspaper. You couldn't filter your own shit. That's their problem. That's why I don't know jack shit, except what they want to know. Honestly. There is, I shudder to think there's some music I would have never listened to if I'd been a kid now. Because I would have created my own playlist and blocked everything else out. There's some hip hop. I would never listen to some of that shit. I didn't like most of it. There were some good hip hop songs. I'm like, eh, eh, kind of good. Some R and B. I didn't listen to most of that shit. Mine was mainly like rock and pop and shit. But if I hadn't been forced to kind of hear it through the radio and over and over because it was a popular song, I wouldn't have known about the fucking thing. And I wouldn't. I would have missed out on a lot of great artists. These kids are missing out on a lot of great artists because they. And I can Spotify and I like, 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 and I like this. And then it finds other artists that are just like that artist. Why would you want to listen to one artist or other artists that are all like that one artist? Don't you want a variety? They don't even know what the word means, probably. The millennials, the snowflakes, I'm telling you, they're, they're fucked. They are so, if there's a power outage, there will be riots. Guarantee it. If someday for, I'd say three days, all iPhones go out, all iPads go out. There's no way they will lose their shit. They will be in the corner crying, banging their heads against the wall until their skull splits open. They won't know what to do. I literally think they will just twist their own limbs off. Like they won't. What did you used to do? What did you... The only way I can relate to it is kind of like from my generation was like when we heard people didn't used to have TV. We were like, Ooh, what was that strange you know, long ago, like, you know, shit like that. So now I kind of, it's like that with the internet. Cause I didn't always have the internet, you know, but a lot of people in, you know, I generate Gen X didn't have the internet growing up. I mean, first time I had, I think it was 19 when I had the actual internet internet where you could actually do something. <sighs> Supposedly it was around before they like to say that. Well, it officially began 1988 bullshit. I don't remember ever being around in any form. Supposedly you could put a disc in somewhere and it did something. Made your computer fart or something. I don't know. But don't remember it. But yeah, you read books and shit. And you went to the movies or you hung out with your friends. And you actually looked at them and talked to them like this. Instead of going, uh-huh. <laughs> okay, I have to admit, that's actually true for me now. <laughs> I don't know people's phone numbers either. It's bad when you're on a cell phone because you see their face. And you're like, oh, talk to him. Talk to her. Talk to him. Talk to her. I, the other day, whose number? I was trying to remember. I think it was my mother's number. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, where's the face? Where's, uh. I barely know my number. I do know my number, but barely. And I get that wrong sometimes in the last two or three digits. I'll fuck it up. I'm like, wait, I think it's this. And somebody tried to call me or text me. Who the fuck are you I talking to? Oh, my bad. They make it so we don't have to know. Eventually, phone numbers are just going to be obsolete. I mean, like, not a main number to contact you, but I don't know. I'll have some other way of doing it. I just want to know where my flying cars are and my super proton jetpacks and all that shit that was supposed to happen. Remember the fucking shit they predicted a long, long time ago? Like, oh, you will program, I want a chocolate cake tonight. It'll just pop out of this magical thing that cooks it. Bull. That never happened. And I'm pissed off. They lied about it. Lied their asses off. Flying car. Wait, again, again, can you imagine a fucking flying car? People can't drive as it is. You imagine people die bombing buildings by accident. Old ladies fucking trying to pilot their car. Fucking crashing into the fucking stop at the Sears Willis Tower or whatever they call it. Oh my God. There's no lanes in the sky. Can you imagine the chaos? A bunch of, bunch of cars doing this. be debris falling on everybody that's all that would ever happen so in a way i think they can do it i just think they're smart because they know that if they do it the shit will literally hit the fan <laughs> seriously there's no way no way i mean god damn how would you even make you can't make a highway in the sky what are you gonna do <laughs> somebody's gonna have to go all the way up there like in a super duper crane or something like that and put little rope lanes up or something. And then what's the point? 
The point is just to be... And that, uh, we worry about terrorism. Flying cars. <laughs> Every time. No. No. No, 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 no. I'm sure they exist. Smart, though. Don't release them. Because people are dumb. <laughs> people are too stupid for the technology. That's the problem. You need to watch those personal assistants. They're getting too fucking smart. Did you hear about the microchip they're implanting in people for their jobs? What? Why? To make sure they do their jobs? Maybe I'd be in favor of that. What is it? <laughs> is this another one of your Google facts? No, they do. If you work at like Apple now, they put a microchip in your anus. Google it. I read it. I did. I did. <laughs> Google it. It's true. If you are a man, they will put it in your penis. They will. At Google. For fun. It's for research. Somebody told me on the internet. Google it. It's true. It is. Are you telling this to like neighborhood children? Are you like scaring everybody? In your <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> to keep track of their work performance? Look. I wish a fucker would try. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. Jay, we need to put a microchip in here to keep track of your work performance. Really? really? Okay, well, do you think you can get that in me before I put this broomstick up your ass? Because that's what's going to happen if you try to put that fucking chip in me. No! No! I mean, to heal you or something, if you need like an implant of some kind, okay, I get it. Then they're dumb. Unless it's some government company that really needs to monitor people aren't spelling secrets or something. Okay, I get it. But it, the people who agreed to it, stupid. You're stupid. You deserve everything you get now. You're going to start twitching when you get in the bathtub. <laughs> I want to see that. That'll be fun at a party. Hey, throw Bob in the fucking pool. He's got a microchip in his head. He'll light the fucker up. We don't need fireworks this year. Just <laughs> fucking throw him in. Isn't that cool? Ah, we can just reboot him. It's fine. Microchipping people. I don't know why it's such a far-fetched thought, though it isn't. We we do it with pets to find out where they are. But for productivity, that's going to make them work harder. Who are these people that are chipping? And you know people are stupid enough to fucking agree to it. I just thought it was a good idea in a way to, you know, increase my own productivity and measure myself. People are dumb. People are so fucking dumb now. There's dumb in the water now. I don't know what's happening. Dumb. Okay, yeah. I'm sure it's just for the job. <laughs> they're going to wonder whether those voices are in their head when they're home. Why aren't you at work, Mark? Fuck. <laughs> I'm making a sandwich. What's going on? You could be doing more work, Mark. Huh? <laughs> Nothing. It's just your imagination. <laughs> what are you wearing? What are you talking about? Who is that? <laughs> Wearing some boxers or briefs, we want to know, Mark. Let's get shit, people. That's what if my ass had control of those things. Oh, I'd be having fun. <laughs> I'd wake them up in the middle of the night. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck it with you. Go back to sleep. You don't have to go to work yet. I'm just kidding. Sleepy, sleepy, sleep time. Wait about an hour till they fall asleep again. There's somebody in your house that's gonna kill you! <laughs> uh, I'm just fucking with you. It's Jay from work. Isn't this fun? You agreed to this? Your fault, not mine. Can you bring me some Starbucks and a glazed donut on your way today? I just thought of that. Well, leave me alone at home. It's my week off. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> By the way, uh, I know you're banging Brenda in accounting, and she totally has a herbs. Just thought you should know. Yeah, I know, right? You can't lie about not coming to work with the microchip in your head. <laughs> That'd be funny if they tried. Again, I'm in charge. Really? <laughs> your family was horribly murdered, but you are on a roller coaster right now. Is this how you grieve? <laughs> 
That's it. For that, I'm going to make you lose control of your bladder. Watch. I'm just going to press a button. <laughs> you shouldn't have fucked with me. And you should have never got a chip in, you stupid. By the way, you're fired. But we're keeping the chip. In your head. <laughs> it's going to cost you your whole 401k to get it out. And even Ember's going to lie and say we took it out. But I will be back talking to you. fucking know when I get a chip in my head for a job kid yeah okay <laughs> I'd tell him I did it I'd pay the doctor off and said say I got it why isn't Jay showing up on our radar but oh mine's like really special <laughs> it's gold and they said that it just works really well fuck that a chip in my head for a job there ain't a job on this planet that could get a goddamn chip in my head not one they could tell me I was going to cure all the dying children in the world. I still wouldn't do it. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Those kids were fucked. Because <laughs> I don't trust the chip that much. Seriously, you could save all these dying children in this hospital. I'd be like, kids, enjoy your last Christmas. Because I'm not doing this shit. Fuck that. <laughs> chip in my head. For a job. Why not? No. It was in their wrist. Well, that's going to make it hard to get out, isn't it? They're going to look like a 13-year-old girl who's depressed trying to fucking hack that shit out with a razor or some shit like that. They're going to get really woozy when the blood starts pumping out that fucking artery. <laughs> that fucking heavy vein right here. <laughs> Good luck. Have fun with it. <laughs> you know, <it's, laughs> the whole room's covered in blood. I think I finally got it. Oh, my God. I'm dying. I'm fucking dying. I'd slap somebody that I loved if they told me, I, I, you know what, for work today I did, what, you got a bone or something? They can't, I mean, I guess if they agree to it, it's legal. I don't know. I'm not Judge fucking Judy. I, I have no idea. Unless they didn't know about it, then it would be illegal. But I'm guessing if they, you can pretty much consent to anything nowadays. So maybe it's legal. I don't know. No idea. No idea. Don't even give a shit. <laughs> Because, again, I would not be doing it. Let them. If they want to be dummies, let them be dummies. That's not my problem. <laughs> a chip. Put a chip in them for work. Bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> Next week, we're going to take a finger. We, we just need it to scan you in easier. We're gonna keep one of your pinkies and just so we can, you know, like we don't, you don't have to always like press the button. Like we'll do it for you with your finger. We're, gonna, we're just gonna keep it. So everybody line up. We're just gonna do it the easy way with a meat cleaver. Okay. <laughs> just put your names on your each individual finger after we chop it off so we know whose is whose. Okay. And uh, yeah, we got a blowtorch to stop the bleeding. It's gonna be kind of painful. We're not gonna lie. But it's gonna be a team building exercise. <laughs> Why not? Why not ask them to get, you know, ask the women to get impregnated <laughs> so they can create further workers in the future? We're going to need you to be knocked up. <laughs> need you to be knocked up because in about 20 years, we're going to need more employees in this field. So let's get to work on it. Come on, we got Raul the janitor. He's going to pump you a couple times and you're going to have a future employee here. <laughs> Do it, bitch. <laughs> Of course you'd be too scared to do it. You're fucking sane. Yeah, I'd be too scared. I'm scared to do it there. Ooh, what a pussy I am. A vagina microchip. Yeah. <laughs> a veggie chip. That kind of sounds like a fun snack. Mmm, veggie chips. Mom, do you have anything to eat? I have some veggie chips in the cupboard. Oh, Mom. Sounds like it could be a commercial from the 80s, right? Vaggie chips, vaggie chips for everybody around. Sometimes I just need vaggie chips. <laughs> vaggie chips, the healthy alternative. Don't get Pringles or Doritos or any of those horrible things that clog your arteries. Vaggie chips are mm -mm good. Now in a new tuna flavor. <laughs> And check out our other brand, Menstrual Veggie Chips. <laughs> Except it's like barbecue sauce. <laughs> Don't forget to look for the string inside the box. <laughs> Do 
tuna flavor veggie chips. Mmm, -mm, good. This is one of those commercials where a bitch would be walking, you know, just like in a, with a fun fucking sweater on or fucking blonde hair. She'd be like 40. I'm hungry today. I am too. Do you have any like ruffles on you? No, but I have veggie chips. Veggie chips? <laughs> Let's dive into it. Some of those commercials are a fucking trip. I've never seen people so happy about having, like, you know, fucking diarrhea. <laughs> I used to shit myself constantly. But now that I got ass stopped, <laughs> life is great again. And it's always like a construction foreman at a web, at a fucking construction site standing there. You would think everybody else around there, the construction guys would be like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> they all walk around like it's normal in those commercials. Now I stop shitting on guys on the lower floor when we're working on the high beams. <laughs> They don't have to worry about messy accidents happening anymore. I've saved a lot on money for jeans. I used to be less of a man because I had erectile dysfunction. Why are you walking on the beach saying that? <laughs> what is it with the beach and a valley and you got to throw a ball with a kid that's weird? Stop. <laughs> now I can enjoy life as a man all over again. Catch it, Timmy. Ignore this in my pants. <laughs> Didn't say when it'd go down. Fucking retards. <laughs> Ask your doctor if Zoltra is right for you. I know people have said this one before, but the side effects list on those commercials, I'm, I'm almost ready to die laughing. Talk to your doctor about depression. Happy fuck could be the right pill for you. It causes date rape. <laughs> your vagina might clot. You might wake up in a stranger's bed covered in your own feces. <laughs> really check with your doctor if you start to want to kill your grandma. <laughs> Other side effects could include rashes. Discharge from your nasals. <laughs> and wanting to eat fetuses while they're still alive. But other than that, it's all great. Awesome, isn't it? There's so many of them now, too. Lunestra. I had high cholesterol. So I took this debilitating drug. And now, even though I can't walk, I can barely speak, and I drool for about hours on end, at least my cholesterol is great. <laughs> I have no feeling in any of my toes, <laughs> but my cholesterol levels are a lot better, according to my doctor. Where am I? <laughs> who, who am I exactly? Why is there a camera here? <laughs> well, I mean, some medicine's fine. You know, I mean, if you have a fucking raging case of pneumonia, you want an antibiotic. I'm sorry, I'm not that much of a hippie where I'm going to be like, no, man, it's a man-made. Fuck that. I've seen too many people get too sick not taking that shit. The vaccine thing, I never really bought. I had so many vaccines growing up. I didn't grow up fucking, well, okay, a little crazy. But, <laughs> you know, I didn't grow three eyes. Because they said that shit back in the day about every vaccine. Fuck that. Now, there's other fucking new med shit? Yes. No, you're not getting autistic from a fucking vaccine. Stop it. Do you know how many kids would be autistic right now? Do you know how many kids, like, every single kid that got vaccinated would be autistic. Like, legit. Because if it did it to them, it would do it to pretty much everybody like flying yeah i know why not good side effects this drug that's for your heart might actually call your doctor if you're happy <laughs> if you suddenly win every lottery scratch off ticket you ever play matter of fact don't call your doctor go on a vacation you deserve it other side effects may include euphoria feeling high but not paying for any of the repercussions getting a raise that would be good wouldn't it You'll develop six-pack abs. <laughs> Some side effects may include you being able to run miles and miles on end and not even break a sweat, but still get the body that you always wanted. 
people will start to hand you money. <laughs> I'd be all for that. Alright, I gotta bail. This thing's starting to get funky anyway, and I got only got a little bit of charge on it left. I know. Let me see what day is it. I'm gonna try to go live Saturday. I'll try to go live Saturday. If not Saturday, I'll do it Sunday. Y'all gotta remind me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And uh Google it! Google it. Hi right, Teresa. Get back to work, Sabrina, if you're watching. And yes. For any family that's watching, I'm sorry about anything that I said. <laughs>